Virgo, this is Soul. And Virgo, we're going to take a look at some energy for you. Um, in the month of November, regarding love and relationships, the messages will be for Virgo Sun, Moon, and Virgo Rising signs. It will also be for Virgos who are single and Virgos who are in partnerships already. So Virgo, I hope all is well. Please sit back, relax, and I hope that you enjoy your reading. All right, Virgo, you're up next here. And Virgo, we're going to take a dive into some uh, potential energies for you in the month of November regarding love and relationships. Uh, the, you know, the messages, the reading will be for Virgo Sun, Moon, and Virgo Rising. Uh, for Virgos who are single and Virgos who are already in partnerships. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, see what's coming up for you guys. And of course, Virgo, I'm using the Victorian Romantic uh, Tarot deck. Uh, my favorite go-to tarot deck. Um, all cards are in the upright position, but I'm introducing something new here. I'm, uh, if you're not a cross video watcher of uh, you know the videos that I've already posted, I'm using the uh, Everyday Enchantment Tarot deck. I'm going to select three cards here, and of course, you can use these as additional messages, separate messages, however you want, whatever you know best suits you and fits for you. Okay, it's fine by me, and so. Um, yeah, we always start off with that shadow energy, right? And and explaining to you, like I explained in other videos, that when I do, for newcomers anyway, um, I do the uh, shuffling and the um, dealing a little bit different. So during the general love reading, I always do the shadow from the bottom, but then I turn a, you know the deck over and then select the 10 cards from the uh, top. That's also too important. I select 10 cards uh, during the general love reading. And when I'm doing the general weekly readings, I select the shadow from the bottom and continue to select from the ba uh, bottom. And it's only eight cards that I select for the week. Okay, so I got that out of the way. So let's get into seeing what's potentially coming up for you. Also, too, by the way, the... Um, Three cards that I will be selected from the Everyday Enchantment Tarot, still the same as, you know, the energies here. Just stay focused on love and relationship, all right? I'm not going to be uh, incorporating any other areas or aspects of your life. We want to stay focused on love and relationship. All right, so let's see what's coming up here for Virgo. Oh, and, uh, you know, all the Virgos out there who celebrate Thanksgiving, please, uh, you know, have a very safe and happy Thanksgiving celebration, whether you're celebrating with family members, friends, family members and friends or by yourself or you don't celebrate at all. Uh, just be safe. OK, and enjoy. All right. So shadow energy, we're going to start off. As I always say, energy that may play out along with the rest of the cards that will be selected for you. If it's a major arcana, whether it's positive or negative, it definitely is going to play out. And we're going to begin with the energy of, ooh, okay, the lovers, boom. Okay, so you got the lovers, Cancer received the lovers at the shadow end. So, of course, Virgo, you know this is going to be uh, energy that plays out. It's definitely going to be the type of energy that plays out. And... Really, the lover is, is not necessarily self-explanatory. It's about new partnerships being formed. It's about those existing partnerships, spending uh, good quality time and, and feeling balanced and in uh, peace and harmony with your uh, relationship. Okay, just overall feeling good. This may have something to do with the, um, you know, upcoming holidays or not, but it doesn't really matter. Being on the same page seeing eye to eye with one another um not really having to deal with you know uh unnecessary difficult challenges or whatnot and everything is in when the lover shows up here it's about peace it's about harmony it's about spending quality time uh romantic chemistry um mutuality reciprocity equanimity you name it it's all about an even exchange of energy what you give you get so the lovers here is for you and it represents gemini libra and aquarius and now keep in mind that this deck has two lovers card in here that's the reason why i like to use it and two devils card so you know if the second lover shows up here that's a double dose of energy so just keep that in mind this card here is usually the theme 
of the entire month uh, and what you may, um, you know, potentially expect or, you know, may not have to deal with anything, may have to deal with something, but we'll see. We're going to start off with the, well, your own energies, nine of pentacles. And how I read that in a general love reading is, is about options. It's like the seven of pentacles and the seven of cups. Uh, but also, too, it could be just the attributes of this energy and that you worked hard and trying to keep your partnerships together because that's, you know, paying yourself back or rewarding yourself uh, type of energy here. Also, too, it could be um, what you aspire to achieve in terms when it comes to those relationships, existing relationships that you want a more um, generous, more secure, more stable uh, type of relationship, someone that you can depend on, someone that you can rely on. Um, someone who's going to be there for you uh, if and when necessary. All right, so that starts you off. Uh, Nine of Pentacles representing you, a uh, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. The card that comes up here next is the, well, we have the Nine of Swords. All right, so I feel, and I always pay attention to the very f uh, first two cards. I always tell you that because this is crossing your immediate environment. And so... It, this changes the uh, message just a little bit here, okay? So, feeling like you're out on the ledge, okay? Because she's physically out on the ledge. This is a high degree of stress, high degree of worries. This is a card of betrayals. This is a card of uh, being shamed, uh, defamation of character, mental challenges. Uh, yeah, definitely extreme worry. So, I'm going to read it one way here. That could be uh, part of the energy that may be expressed for some of you. Maybe there's some, maybe somebody is fearful of not achieving this whole energy connected to uh, the Nine of Pentacles, which is your own energies that stability, security, um, you know, long term energies, long term commitments or relationships. Somebody's fearful of that. Uh, I do feel that that could be the case for someone or it could be that someone is experiencing that right now or somebody just feels that they will never or won't be able to achieve, you know, that that energy of generosity, dependability, reliability, stability, security and so forth. So you're a little bit nervous. OK, you want it, but you're not sure that you can achieve it or have it. So the Nine of Swords is showing up here, and that could be very well what I'm picking up for uh, someone. And you, again, you could be in that relationship, but you feel that, you know, it may not be providing the overall sense of security or stability that you're, you know, that you've been hoping for, or that you've been longing for. I'm being drawn to say that it's for the... Um, it's for the single... Virgos. And it's not that Virgos don't have, um, you know, that they're not committable. They commit, but they want to be sure because, see, they're, they're an earth sign. They're, they're grounded and they want to make sure and, you know, rule out any types of uncertainties or speculations. So I think that that's what I'm getting here is for those single uh, Virgos who want that, that, energy of the nine of pentacles but they're fearful that they may not achieve that so let's see what else is coming up here nine of swords is gemini libra and aquarius then we have the queen of swords so that you know sort of takes down that energy of the nine of swords so there's this is an action card this is you being determined clearing up the confusion or uncertainty now that and confusion and uncertainty might be within you know within your own self Maybe you're placing too much emphasis on worrying about something that has yet to occur. Again, I read that nine of swords, even though it's a degree higher than the eight of swords, but it's a carryover from the eight of swords that you're worried about something that is either factual or something that is not. So, you know, removing the uncertainty, clearing up the confusion comes through with the uh, court card, the queen of swords, using that sword to cut up that energy. Bust up the clouds of confusion or things that you're not certain about, okay? And then moving forward, uh, taking action, making strong decisions. Um, yeah. That are best, you know, that 
that are going to be best suited for you, okay? Queen of Swords represents Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So that's a good card. And also because it is a, a court card, coming in with the lover's card, that could be that new relationship. Now, the queens and kings, I always talk about, give me an older feel, but it could be that, you know, um, whether or not it's an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that you attract, uh, it doesn't really matter. So the attraction is there. Okay, uh, and remember I said the Nine of Pentacles is like the options. Options still being available for um, singles if they're looking to, um, you know, connect romantically in the month of November. All right, following the Queen of Swords here, um, Virgo, we have the Three of Pentacles. So more of your energy uh, is showing up here. And that's getting along well with your partnerships, plain and simple. Now, also, too, I'll throw in there. Uh, as I said that I wouldn't discuss any other areas or aspects of your life, but when the three of Pentacles uh, shows up here, that could be involving an attractiveness or attraction in the workplace environment. Okay, so I'm seeing that. So it could be that Virgo uh, is attracted to somebody that they work with or someone that um, Virgo works with is attracted to them. So it might be that there's, you know, relationships that are taking place involving Virgos in the workplace environment. Another reason or another aspect of that is, as you know, I, I mentioned before, is just getting along well with your partners. All right. So following the uh, three of Pentacles that represents you, uh, Taurus and Capricorn, we have the sun. Boom. The sun is here along with the lovers. So, of course, any... Uh, energies here um, and I have a tendency I always feel this though and, and it may not be remotely true but that's just me and my intuition and how strong it is that no matter what comes up you know that you know anything positive like the lovers is here the sun is showing up here you got the queen of swords even the nine of pentacles your own energy the three of pentacles is good this is where people's focus will lie and I really don't understand it. I feel it, though. I, I truly do feel it because this, I mean, even though it's not a card that I like, like the Three of Swords and the Tower as well, but this is where people's minds will be focused on. Uh, and then, you know, the brightest thing that's showing up here, the sun, you can, you know, once you receive the sun, it's the best card to receive. It's the best card in the tarot deck. This is about happiness. This is about feeling vibrant. This is about, you know, feeling joy. This is about success. And we're only talking about relationships, right? So, you know, um, in the month of November, there's this potential of you being happy to the point of, you know, extreme happiness in some instances, so if I'm going to connect the story or a line here, removing the doubts. This is a card of doubting. Removing any doubts or inhibitions or fears that you may have about possibly if you are single to achieve that stable, generous relationship. Okay? What's, what's causing you to worry? What's causing you to feel like you're out on a limb? Then the queen comes in after that energy, you know, possibly working on those uh, uncertainties and confusions, clearing the air. Okay, clearing the air. And then the sun comes in, the signs and smiles on you. All right. So there we have it. One of the best cards, along with the lover's card, to show up in any reading, whether it's general love or it's general weekly. Victorious, successful. Uh, this sun could also warrant traveling for some of you. So it could be part of the holiday uh, festivities and is romantically linked. Could be traveling for the singles and it's still romantically linked. Following the sun, Major Arcana, we have the Eight of Pentacles, more of your energy. This is a balancing type of energy, and along with the um, energies of the Nine of Pentacles, is basically the same thing. It's the couple here. She's leaning up against the wall, watching her husband or her boyfriend do some pottery work. So there's a form of contentment. She's content. She's satisfied. 
she's enjoying the quality time that she's spending watching her husband do whatever he's doing. It's an even number of pinnacles, so it's a balancing type of energy. So that's that harmony. Okay? You feel stable. You feel secure. And that's what's coming through uh, with this card here. Your energies. The Eight of Pentacles. So I like that. Okay, so you... Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Up next, we have the, look at this, the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> okay, now we have the Ace of Pentacles. I hope I'm holding these cards in frame right for you guys. And that's the start. That's an offering. Okay, that's an offering. It's the start of something new. We're not talking about working finances here. We're talking about either. Now, this could also be you and you're offering yourself to somebody new or somebody new is coming along and they're offering their energies towards you. Again, uh, with the nine of pentacles here, it's about security, stability, the start of long-term commitments. Okay, being dependable, reliable, all of that is centered right here in the nine of pentacles, eight of pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. And then also to the Three of Pentacles. Remember? And I love the elements to show up for the sign that I'm reading for. Um, and so the Three of Pentacles is getting along well with your partners. And then, you know, feeling uh, stable. Feeling like the relationship is stable. Or are you feeling grounded within that relationship? How about that? Following the Ace of Pentacles, again, representing you, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. We Oh, now you have the world card. So you have the lovers, you have the uh, sun, now you have the world. This is about relationships. This is about opportunities. Expected or unexpected. Think of, and, you know, think in realms of the relationship aspect and what it may mean to you. This also, too, could be a traveling card. You have opportunities here. There may be an opportunity, again, with the world card underneath the court card, the Queen of Swords. In terms of a new connection. All right, so there we go. All right, following the Major Arcana, the World Card Virgo, we have the, oh my gosh, you got the Ten of Cups, a wedding. This is the Thanksgiving celebration with family members and friends. Maybe going to small um, group activities involving family members and friends. But then if you're single, there may be somebody there that you connect with romantically. Ten of Cups is about celebrations, about uh, marriages, it's about uh um, spending quality time with, uh, you know, of course, family members and friends. It's a card of love. It's a card of emotional stability, support. It's a card of emotional happiness, joy. Now you have it. Ten of Cups is showing up here. Very positive. Wow. So I'm liking this energy here for you, Virgo. Oh, my gosh. You got the sun, the, the world, the Ten of Cups, the lovers. The Ace of Pentacles. And I said the focus here for some of you would be that damn Nine of Swords. Why? I don't know. But anyway, let me continue to finish you up here. And now you have, now you have the Six of Cups. All right. So this finishes you off, Virgo. You have some very good um, finishing off energies. The Six of Cups represents Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Just like this Ten of Cups. This is going down memory lane. Thinking of those romantic... Now, it could be that you are in a uh, partnership already and you're thinking of some, uh, e you know, past events that you have spent with your partner. So thinking about that time when you fill in the blank, when you travel together, when you uh, went to the beach together or something uh, that you did together and you're thinking of those fond memories. This is also to a uh, type of energy where I always read. Uh, and it's specific for Virgos who are singles that you uh, may have been linked to somebody in a romantic sense 
Um, whether it was a husband, wife, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, they're no longer here. They're in the spirit world now. Um, but this energy comes through to be a reminder that uh, life continues and they want you to be happy. Involve yourself in new relationships because uh, you still have your life to live and they want to they want you to be happy. Um, so it could be just that re whole reflecting uh, type of energy on those who are no longer here. Um, also, too, this could be uh, those connections that you have had in the past in a romantic sense, but they're still physically here. So you might be thinking about them. They might be thinking about you. And then there's a form of synchronicity. Maybe there's a text. Maybe there's a call that comes through. Maybe you pose the text. Maybe you pose the call. Uh, and then, you know, jumpstart something totally new. That would be, um, you know, up to you. And that would be perfectly fine as well. Okay, because this is a very good card uh, also to receive. Six of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Wow, so this is dynamic energy here for you, Virgo. Uh, so let's get into seeing what's coming up here with the Everyday um, Enchantment Tarot. Okay, selecting three cards here. Cards are large and thick. Okay, and I don't have any nails, too. And the last one here is three. All right, so let's see. All right, so the first card here for you, Virgo, we're going to start off with. Um, I don't read these in reverse. And we have part of your energy here, the higher font, Major Arcana. Again, so this, too, could be like the Ten of uh, Cups, the marriage card. It's a teaching and learning card. It's also to the card that comes through where I always talk about um, you being spiritually watched over, spiritually being protected. Link that to your uh, relationships, okay? So this is uh, and it's a form of spiritual a spirituality, of course. It could be somebody getting married, uh, teaching and learning. Well, we teach and learn each other through our, our relationships, our connections that we have with other people. Uh, but this is a very uh, good card to receive. Uh, so the Hierophant is showing up here for you as an additional message. And uh, following that Hierophant, that represents Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, we have the King, or no, we have the Knight of Coins, the Knight of Pentacles. So this is more of your own energies. So this is a court card. This is someone who is uh, dependable, someone who is uh, reliable, someone who uh, creates some sort of form of stability for you. Now, this could be just the attributes of this card, and it just is your energy. And this is what you may have to offer uh, the next relationship, or it could be a current relationship through the Ace of Pentacles, that you are somebody that she can depend on to wash or wax the car, um and you know rely on and just be generous okay so that's your energy here and again because it is a court card it could be like i said a new relationship that's based on the lover's energy and the ten of cups energy the sun six of cups and the world card Last card is another major arcana. So we have one, two, three, uh, four, five major arcanas here for you guys. And it's the emperor. So this is about you being in charge. And I always tell you guys, it's always about you being in control and charge of self and not others. The handshake could be just a welcoming into a new relationship. Someone offering their hand and uh, of course it starts out as a friendship but then it turns into uh, some sort of romance so anything is possible here with the emperor the emperor represents aries uh, other fire sign energy sagittarius and uh, leo got the family picture on the wall so yeah it's about you being in charge and you being in control and um the handshake is just being open 
allowing your energies to be open to greet someone to meet someone all depends on you okay so there we go we have two major arcanas in this little three card spread here so that's what I have for you, uh, Virgo, uh, in the month of November regarding love and relationships. Whatever you choose to do this upcoming month, I always ask that you do it safely. Stay strong, stay positive. Please wear those masks, wash those hands. Uh, if you get together uh, for the holiday, Thanksgiving, with family members and friends, please make it a very safe and enjoyous one. If you're not planning on doing any of that, uh, it's okay. Sending you prayers and love uh, anyway, right? So... Lots of love and light to you until I talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.